Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. This is still Good Morning Ghana live on Metro TV. Time now for our Community Watch segment. And today our lenses are focused on the Ashaiman community, particularly residents of New Quarters Low Cost Estate, who are protesting against the sighting of a refuse dump within their neighborhood. According to them, the unbearable smoke from the dump site is a cause of their frequent illness. My colleague Gabriel Obodai Togbasho visited the community and brings us this extensive report. You see this kind of wooden structures? We want to clear it immediately. This side. <laughs> On the other side, look at what is happening. Not one or two fire. You see the thing? Not one or two fire. It be general something. I'm coming your way from Ashaiman, where this morning residents in their tents are much worried, they are agitated, complaining about the sighting of heaps of refuse, which is actually next to school buildings, next to their houses, and they feel choked with the situation. <laughs> They've joined us here to, you know, tell us more about what exactly the problem is. And welcome, Akwaba, Nyabake. What exactly is your problem? Da, let me start with you. Well, our problem is that of late you've seen that this area. They've turned the area as a uh, dump, rubbish dumping place. And it is very disheartening to see this smoke always coming from this area, from this dumping area, into the school. And we, 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 are, very, we, are, we, are, we are not happy about what is happening now. Several attempts have made to the assembly, and the assembly think this is the right place. Now, if you right now, if you can see uh, this uh, uh, VR radio transmission, it is just only the VRA transmission. And in the fire, we have some, something called radiation. The heat from this, this, this dumping refuse can even have a contact to the lines, and this is a national. So we are saying that the baller out here should be moved. We don't want this area to be used as a dumping ground for all this uh, uh, rubbish. It is assembly who has authorized that. On your right, there is a motorway. All the international people are passing through this area, and they are seeing what has happened. It is even a disgrace to the country. Yes. For the people who are responsible people to see all this happen. So we are saying that whoever is concerned, we are appealing to the Minister for Environment, the VRA, the VRA yes, Assembly ma people, to make sure this rubbish is removed from here. weeks. In a short, you can see a man coming. Hello, hello, hello. Take on his side. So you can see that they are actually moving to throw the refuse away. So this is what usually happens on daily basis. He was even coming to crash into the residence you are seeing here. So these are some of the things we are saying. Even as we are here talking, the refuse continuously has been brought here in trucks. And there are people right here taking monies from, you know, the refuse being cast here. And uh, no one really knows how the monies that accrue from it are then being utilized. And just look up, you can see high tensions mounted and the refuse is located right beneath the high tension so you can even see the smoke emanating <laughs>
Residents are facing off up the managers of the side that we want to talk to briefly. It was Zoom Lion assembly brought here. So they brought their containers, about six or seven containers. So whenever the people uh, bring the refuse, they put it in the containers and send it to Kung. So when there was a change of government, then the uh, party people came and forcefully sacked them from the place. So they also carried their properties away. Who takes the money? Is the, is I collect the money on behalf of the assembly. What is the money used for? Uh, about two weeks ago, uh, we, we, we sent the money. We've been sending the money. It's daily uh, payment. But it's, the money is not enough to even... But I don't know what Zoom Lion was doing when they collect the money. But since uh, the two weeks ago that they, we sent the money, this is what they did yesterday, the, what the small money can do. We can't learn because it affects our eyes. And sometimes when you're writing, you can't even see, especially me. It affects my eyes, really, so I can't even self-learn. I'll just get out from the classroom. And sometimes the order from the refuse, when our teacher is teaching, he can't even self stand in the classroom. He will just get out and tell us to get out. So it's it's really affecting our education. And we are writing BC in June. So we need we need their support to come and help us because we are suffering from this refuse. And it's not good. It, it's not sometimes when the smoke is coming, those who are suffering from asthma, they collapse and a lot of things happen and teachers will go home without anything. So we are suffering. They should help us. Okay. How about you? Um, we have a lot of asthmatic patients and then we are students we don't really smoke we were there it is real it happened a student in form one collapsed when he was taken to the hospital they done like x-ray and then it was it was that it was noticed that there, uh, there were stinks of smoke in his lungs the person is not smoking so you, you, you can imagine it's not from the smoking, but it's from the smoke from the refuse dump. It's really affecting us. We are like we are dying slowly. We are really dying. If it like, you can see it as something, something very minor, but it is clean us inside. It is really affecting us. As my colleague said, her eyes. We cannot even sit in the class. The thing from the refuse dump are really affecting us. Even the child, when the child is learning, he can just excuse and they say that he cannot even stand it. You can't even stand. Even when someone excuse me, so even when someone flat. You cannot stand it. How about refuse down from all over Shaima? You can imagine how it is. The smoke, the stink, please, it is really affecting us. We need help from the government. As we speak, just imagine we are in March. By the end of this month, the rain will start to set in. What happens? All this rubbish will be washed into the drain. And the people here are likely to face serious epidemic when they start training. And we sit in our offices there, wear our suit and don't take action. We sit down, come to the ground and come and appreciate the suffering of the people. And it's not. I'm an assembly member. I am not supposed to speak for the municipal assembly. What is wrong is wrong. And we are taking money from the community, sit there and share among ourselves. What is the way, the mode of even reporting what they are collecting from this place? Right. Well, it's a joke, my brother. It's a joke. Also, we have with us the member of parliament for a Shaiman constituency for him to also share his views about what exactly we are witnessing. Honorable, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank we you. are witnessing a total mess a total within mess. your constituency. A total mess. This is a disaster, you know. Mm. Uh, even if not being a member of parliament, I'm a disaster person, a disaster officer. What is happening here is, is, is amazing. Because for how long will this thing continue here? For how long? Uh, we are sitting on a time bomb here because when the rain set in, as I said earlier, in fact, there will be total mess, cholera outbreak. We have a school children here, which any time this place is being uh, bent, the children collapse in the classroom. We'll see what we'll, we'll, we'll do about it. I'll push forward so that the minister have organize a question. I'm summoning the, the Minister for Sanitation and I will create the permission of the Speaker that we summon him from the floor of Parliament to see the Thank you very much. We'll be following up on your efforts to ensure that this refuse is actually collected. And you've heard it all from the residents that the Ashaiman Municipal Assembly Ministry of Environment and relevant stakeholders should intervene 
before situation goes out of hand. We've done our bit. We shall continue to follow up on this developing issue and then keep you updated. Well, they are still talking behind that should fire catches up with this high tension, it may be disastrous. That's even what one of them is saying. We shall continue to follow up and then keep you updated. But until you hear from us again, this is Gabriel Obodai Tokbo Ashon reporting.